tougher third down looming. There is no doubt that Geno Atkins is really strong and stout at the point of attack, but I love his suddenness and the ability to make plays, to be in one spot, and then he's gone. And into the offensive backfield, he's a heck of a player. And there, a big TFL tackle for loss. Hard to believe that his father, Gene Atkins, was an NFL defensive back, has bred this big defensive tackle. They'll try and start the drive with Gurley. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On second and nine, Ryan. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. This one across the 35. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. A perfectly executed crossing route. He's going to look deep from the... It's caught inside the 25. A big play there for Ryan. Going top shelf for Smith-Schuster. He's got a man complete. 20, 10, touchdown, 49ers. Juju Smith-Schuster, 73 yards. And once again, the 49ers are back out in front. That certainly went against the traditional ways of playing football. But he looked like one of those guys. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. How about this offense already feeling good about themselves with a touchdown already in their first drive? They've certainly come out firing, even though that one was incomplete. With the 7-0 lead, more apt to take a shot like that downfield? Hey, you're one to the good. Go ahead and try and pressure advantage. Ryan. And this is caught. He hits more. And out across midfield, down to the fourth <laughs> opening drive. This will be play number 11 coming up on third down. And he will have the first down as he gets this to the 47. They get the first. The decision to run on third and medium winds up being a good one. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They got a nice little drive brewing right here. And this is caught. I think he got that with one hand. And his hips kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Well, we're not playing three yards in the cloud of dust football anymore. I kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion. And both sides trying to get to the football, and you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. And he hauls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco.